Investigates uncovers new details in a deadly gas station shooting involving a 16 year old who was supposed to be locked up. Tonight marks one week since the murder of a 43 year old father at a gas station off Shoto and 14th near downtown. News 4 investigator Susan L. Corey reports on the new information about the teen's escape and the response to it. We know the 16 year old at the center of this escaped last month, but the state agency that runs the center never put out a public warning. On top of that, we found police records that should mention the escape don't. Now my my brother is not able to spend this Christmas with his children. Tiffany Morton believes her brother Carlos would be here today. This is his grandchild's first Christmas and she will not be able to she won't be able to spend it with her grandfather. A week since his murder at a gas station near downtown St. Louis, she wants to know why there was never a warning about a 16 year old who escaped juvenile detention and is now back in custody in connection to her brother's death. Nothing was ever made public about any juvenile escaping from anywhere. Do you think it should have been made public? Most definitely. News 4 investigates learned about the escape from a police source. According to our source, on November 19th, the teen slipped out of the Hogan Street Regional Youth Center, a state run high security juvenile detention. While he was on the run, News 4's police source says the teen was a person of interest in a shooting near Miller Park in University City. St. Louis police and the state agency that runs the center still haven't confirmed the escape. What's more, News 4 checked police call logs. There's nothing on the day of the escape. If you're grown enough to pull a trigger, you're grown enough to commit a crime, you're grown enough to get your face plastered all over the TV. Officers have been to the Hogan Street Center dozens of other times. Records show in the past four years, police were called around 70 times for assaults to missing person cases. When we asked police why the escape doesn't show up, they sent us a new log. It includes a call for help on November 19th, the same day the teen allegedly went missing. Police explained in an email the call was listed under a different address and they didn't know until now, so they fixed it. It's not fair. Like, we shouldn't have to deal with this. For the family, that's not enough. It doesn't answer why the teen's escape is still being kept quiet. Who needs a fire lit under them for them to do their jobs? In the past, the state has let us know about escapes from the Hogan Street Center. We asked why that didn't happen this time and are still waiting on an answer. We'll keep pushing to find out more. Susan Elcorey, News 4 Investigates.